goodness, you guys. It's finally here. I am doing the very, very, very long awaited album haul slash unboxing, bitch. Oh my goodness. So I know you guys have been asking me for like unboxings for some of these albums, asking me if I knew this group had a comeback, if I'm gonna get it, if I'm gonna unbox it, where's the unboxing, blah, 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 blah. I know I'm so sorry that this is like super late, but let me tell y'all, okay? I'm gonna like go on a little rant, tangent, mini story time, if you will. If you don't give a fuck, you can just skip ahead, but I just wanna explain why this was so delayed. Honestly, the main culprit and the main reason reason why this whole haul was delayed is because of this this motherfucker so yeah i obviously ordered i pretty much ordered all of these from k-town for you and i get it shipped to my k-addy and then i get it shipped to me you already know but they just kept delaying it was specifically this version the special version of sogi's 28 reasons like it's just like sm's issue of not properly stocking their artists albums like i don't understand why they never learn this happens like with every single like comeback with every single artist they just never make enough and there's just so many delays i don't know why they keep doing this but yeah basically it kept getting delayed like literally they kept pushing back the restock date even though i literally pre-ordered these albums like i pre-ordered the surgi albums a week before and it literally got delayed a whole month i got these delivered to my kaddy in early november like it took a whole month so that was the main reason for the delay i literally was just waiting for this and then while i was waiting for this i was like you know what let me just go ahead and add some things to this unboxing so i like waited a little longer for some things so yeah um there was just a lot of waiting and besides that there was a delay with ups if you guys didn't know if you guys watched my previous unboxing i pied ups and they deserve to be like triple pied in the face because oh my god the hoops i had to jump through like i chose to do ups instead of dhl because the shipping fee was like 50 dollars less which is a lot obviously so i was like i'll just do ups no problemo right you would think first day like held my package at the warehouse for like four days like so i had to wait four extra days they were like oh we'll deliver it on this day i was like great and then they held it with no reason and then they said that i had to pay like some sort of like duties import fees taxes whatever the fuck i was like damn okay no information on how to pay that fee whatsoever i thought you could like pay it online or something you can't they didn't tell me how and when i was gonna pay this so i was like what the fuck and they weren't gonna deliver it until i paid that fee but again i didn't know how to fucking pay it so on monday the day they said they were gonna deliver it the new delivery day i was literally at school and i was like you know what they said they're gonna deliver it between like 2 to 4 p.m i'll be home from school but no they decided to deliver it a whole hour earlier when i wasn't home and my sister was home but she was in the restroom of course so no one answered the door and they were like well no one was there they uh, answer and pay the fee so we're gonna deliver it tomorrow i was like what the fuck so the next day i told my sister like please pay the fee, answer the door, I'll pay you back, just get my package. You know what's so funny? The next day, they didn't even ring the doorbell or like knock on a door or anything. They literally just dropped my dropped my package off. My sister was like, they didn't deliver the package. I was like, it says it got delivered. Uh, Cause you checked the front door and she was like, oh, it's right here. And I'm like, what? Today they decided to drop off the package, but yesterday I had to pay the fee. So like, I didn't even end up having to pay the fee. Like, I don't know if they're gonna like send me an invoice later. I don't know. I've never had to deal with this before because like, you know, I'm in the United States and like, we don't really deal with customs that much. So I don't know what happened to that, but yeah, <laughs> there was just so, so many delays. So never using UPS again, moral of the story, DHL is superior love you dhl so yeah but anyways sorry i had to like release some steam there but regardless we're finally here we have so many albums to unbox as you can see we have a lot because there were so many comebacks in october and i seriously had to catch up on everything i know some of these comebacks are like two months old at this point but i still want to go ahead and open it for you guys I'm sure you guys have been like waiting for this so thanks so much if you've been waiting patiently yeah um and also you can notice that i do have a lot of like member version things because all these groups man they all want to do like digit packs jewel cases whatever the fuck so you can see we have like jewel cases for Entwerf, troubleshooter two baddies 
Maxident um, and Anti-Fragile. Um, I did end up buying like all the versions for those because that's the thing with K-Addies. Like it's way more dangerous, you know, with the K-Town for you 40% off. It's like, might as well buy everything. So yeah, um, clearly there's a lot to unbox. So for this video, I'm definitely not going to be doing like an in-depth unboxing. Like a lot of these albums are like quite old at this point. So I'm sure you guys know what the albums look like and stuff like that. So it's not going to be a formal unboxing whatsoever. But I will like quickly, like it'll make be like the polls especially for like things like these member versions because this video is literally going to be like four hours long if open and flip through every single page so yes it'll definitely be like a sped up unboxing i literally even like unwrapped all of the plastic you can see everything's unwrapped already because i'm trying to like get through this as quick as possible but anyways today's lineup is we have troubleshooter by kepler Maxidents by Stray Kids, the case version. We have Anti Fragile, Le Seraphim. We have 28 Reasons by Sugi. We have Entsworth by Enmix. We have Two Baddies. Um, we have all the Digipacks and then the like platform versions. And then we also have Cheon um, Hush Rush. That's new. We also have Jin Solo, The Astronaut. And then it's kind of hiding here, but you have EXID's X album. Yes, that was a mouthful. I know I talked way too much and. I should probably shut up and get into it. So yes, also we have some pre-order benefits, which I'll obviously show, but let's finally get into it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna start off with, again, the culprits of the whole delay. We have Suki's solo debut, 28 Reasons. Oh my God, I've been dying to open all of these albums, obviously, especially working at a K-pop store where we get all these albums and I like physically see these albums like every day. And I'm just like, I want to unbox you so badly. We have all of the versions here. They went crazy with the versions, honestly. So we have the photo book version, the case version, of course, and then these special versions, which is very unique. I'm very excited to see. Yeah, let's go ahead and quickly go through this photo book version. It's very large. Oh my God, but I love this solo debut. Honestly, it might be my favorite solo debut so far from Red Velvet. I just... Oh wait, let me take out all the inclusions. Okay, there weren't that many inclusions in there actually, but oh my god, I loved this entire concept. Like, look at how good she looks. It suits her so well. It's like such like a horror Halloween-y concept, like creepy horror movie vibes, and I loved it. Perfect for Halloween too. Too bad I'm unboxing this when it's literally Thanksgiving tomorrow, but oh my god, I loved it so, so much. Okay, we got this like giant postcard. Wow, it's like an A4 poster almost. And then the SM mad, the photo cards right here. But, oh my God, we got this one. She's like a hunter almost. Oh my God, I remember when I first saw the trailer, it was so good, like the production value. Yes, so yeah, I really like this photo card. So I'm glad I got that one. All right, next, of course, we have the typical red velvet. And I guess Espa too, they had this the case version to add on to our case version collection. Ooh, this one feels a little different. I feel like it's like a little more round, maybe. The packaging is so cool. I love like the golden vibe. How the fuck do you open this? Oh my God. <laughs> Why was that so hard to open? <gasps> wow. Look at the CD though. It's kind of like Snow White vibes. Oh. Um, is that supposed to happen? Ooh, it's so- ah! Damn, the photo card just like flew right out. So reflective. Ooh, I loved this like shoot, by the way. This like mirror one. It's like the album cover as well. Ooh, and of course the winter concept. I feel like everyone is doing like this snowy, icy winter concept, but I love it regardless. Very witchy. It's so cool. Ooh, looks like we get a mini poster as well. Oh my god, the nails! Oh yeah, I think... Oh. Oh, I thought this was just like the back picture, but it's like an accordion thing. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention my favorite songs. Um, Honestly, again, this entire mini album is so, so good. Like, literally, I love every single track. My favorites, I think, were Dead Man Running and Bad Boy Sad Girl with B.O. Her vocals in Dead Man Running, like, oh my god, it's so powerful. Oh, I love that song. Okay, and then the photo card, it has this, like, golden back. Oh! <gasps> 
Ooh, what the? Oh my god. <laughs> that like confused me for a second. Look at how long her nail is. Looks like a candy wrapper almost. Oh my gosh, she drew a little bear on the back too. Oh my god. All right, and then we get into the special versions. Now I know technically the only thing that's different is like the cover, like the photo book and like all the other inclusions are the same. But regardless, of course, the collector in me has to get all of them. So I forgot which one's the, I think it's called, actually I forgot. I know one of them is called the and version. <laughs> I forgot what the two words of them were, but yes, good and evil maybe i forgot yeah and i didn't expect it to be like this small it's like super tiny but like very thick isn't this like a 300 page like photo book that is crazy and since this has three photo cards i think i'm gonna try and collect all three of them so yes oh my Ooh. okay that was like the cover we can do like a very <gasps> oh my god they love doing these like tiny little CDs now. These tiny CDs are so cute. I've never tried to play one of these, but like I just might have to. That's so cute. All right, let's see. I feel like, isn't this like just all of the concepts mixed together? Ooh. Oh, and there's like some of her like drawings and doodles. <gasps> Whoa, it's like an art book almost. Okay, this is very quick, but I'm not gonna flip through like all 300 pages. <laughs> Wow, it's so fancy. But yeah, this very much exceeded my expectations. I was honestly kind of surprised that it didn't do like super well, like in Korea and stuff. Like I feel like the hype died kind of quickly, like a little too quick, you know? This just deserved so much more. Loved Sergi's debut. Then we get two photo cards. <gasps> this one is so cool, the illustration one. Oh my God, let's see. <gasps> Ooh, uh, giving us a very natural. And then this one, ooh, oh my God, that kind of scared me. <laughs> Who hurt you, Sergi? Who hurt you? They even like all connect, don't they? Like this, I think, or maybe it's the other way around, but either way it works. That's gonna look so cool. All right, next we have this version. Again, oh wait, I'm just looking at the photo cards because all the, the photo books are the same. Oh. <laughs> First dupe. Damn, we're hoping for no dupes, but like, I mean, I guess it's bound to happen. Oh, this one's different. <gasps> Ooh, this is from like the choreo set. She looks so cool. The bangs and the lip ring. Love it. Last version. <gasps> Whoa. This could literally be like a horror movie. Oh my God, I just realized there's like, kind of like blood stains under her nails. The details. Okay. Ooh, another photo card with this outfit. Oh, okay, this is another like illustration card. So I, I guess I just need to trade like one of them. If anyone's still even trading at this point. But oh my gosh, she looks gorgeous. And then, oh, oh damn it. Okay, so we got another dupe. So I guess I have two dupes to trade for, but I mean, hey, it's fine. But yeah, look at all these photo cards. <gasps> so pretty okay i feel like i should just get this over with now because this era is so old i feel like this was like such a long time ago and i know i mentioned like such a long time ago that i would do a digipack unboxing but two months later here we are so yes i've honestly kind of spoiled myself at this point and i've already bought like more copies of digipacks from like group orders and stuff like that so i know like what some of them look like so i pretty much will just look at the pulls for the digipacks because this is again quite old but I do have all nine of them. I even like put the sticker back on because knowing me, I'm the type to do that. But let's just take out like this one. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and collect OT9 for this. I forgot, but I don't think I pulled this mark card yet. <gasps> oh my God, it looks very, it's like the same picture as like his lucky draws. So I got confused, but yay, we got this mark one. I think this is the normal like album card. And then this one is the Korean press digipack. And we got Utah. Yay. Uh, I love like the setting, the purple vibes. I guess we can do like just the quickest flip through. Cause like most of it is lyrics anyway. <laughs> All right, next we have the Chaehyun digipack. Oh my God, I already have this card. This is Utah's uh, digipack regular card. Like I said, I did already buy like extra copies. So I do have this one already, but we have Utah set though. Oh my god, another Utah set. Here we have Chayun's photo book real quick. Ooh. I love, where is it, this picture? 
Next, Utah's. Ooh, we got a Hetchon. This one is the regular Digipack card. And then... Oh, wait, I don't have this one yet. Oh my goodness, this is the Korean version one. So many Doyoung cards. I feel like I almost have like Doyoung's entire set for two baddies because I keep pulling him. But like again, I kind of collect him, so not complaining. Ugh, one of my favorite cards ever. He looks so good here. And then Utah. He went in he was insane this era. Like, oh my goodness. Bitch! Alright, next we have Chongu's. <gasps> okay, we got this tear card. I didn't pull it. Yay. I love his outfit. And then. Ooh! So we have Hechan set now. Yay! This is his Korea press card. Chongu. Ooh, he looks so cool. All right, and then Johnny. <gasps> Ooh, I think, okay, we got a dupe of the Hechan album card. And then we got this tail one. This one is the Korea Press. <gasps> oh my God, literally insane. This part of the music video, bruh. We'll look through Johnny's. <gasps> oh my God, I've never seen this picture. Alrighty, and then Hechan. Dang, okay, we got both dupes. So we have Taeyong and Taeyong again. I literally put up like my other two baddies cards for trade because I totally forgot to and I was like, shit. So I put it up for trade and it's like absolute cricket. So that's the thing with these like album hauls is that I have to wait a little longer. So I feel like everyone's like done trading at this point. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to find traits for everything, but let's pray because I really want to like complete the set. We have Doyoung's. <gasps> okay, we have got this Johnny card. I don't have it. And then, <gasps> ooh, we have Taeyong set now. Woohoo, this is his uh, photo card. Oh my God. Insane. Tears version next. Oh my God, our third Hechan of this version. And then... Oh yeah, we already got this one. This one is his Korea Press. I will look through his photo book. Love his hair too. All right, last but not least, we have Marks. I definitely look through his, obviously. I already have his Digipack. Oh my God. Third tail of this one. And then, oh my God, a third tail. <laughs> Dang, okay. We actually got so many dupes though. Oh my goodness. Okay, actually, now that I'm looking at it, the pulls aren't that bad. We pulled five out of nine for each, actually. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm just hoping I can find traits for the rest of the cards that I need. Okay, and then, of course, this era, they decided to do, like, platform, like, smart, Nemo, whatever you want to call it, versions. I don't think they've ever done, like, a smart platform version before, but... Hopefully this is the only time that they do, they're doing it. I haven't seen them like do it for like newer releases. So let's just hope they're stopping because literally I can't with all these versions anymore. But yeah, of course I had to get it and I got three of each version. I think this one comes with like a photo card and like a sticker and some like concept pictures. We have, ooh, it's like a little accordion thanks to. And then, oh, this is like the music card. Oh, this is just this. This is like a perfect like binder filler though. I think I might use it for that if I need to. Ooh, you get like a stack of cards. So it's like a, a track list card, I guess. It's very thick. And then, oh, I think this is the random card. We got Utah's. You look so cute here. Oh my goodness. And then, oh, you get like a set. Oh my God. So we got these like concept cards. Nice. I didn't, I don't know why I've never like seen it before, but now I can add these to my binder. And then, ooh, we got a Chongu random sticker. I honestly do kind of prefer like these type of platform albums where it's like a whole box, you know, kind of like New Jeans' Weaver's version instead of like the flat ones. Also, you get like a bunch of cards. Let's see. Oh, we got a Chongu. This is so cute. I like how they're like all matchy too. And then for the sticker. Oh, we got a Chungu set. Let's see. Ooh, we got Taeyong's. Wow, I'm actually surprised they're not dupes. Oh my god, the back is so like simple. Cute. And then for a sticker. Oh my god. 
so funny how the photo cards are not dues, but all the stickers were. <laughs> Damn. All right, and then we have the two baddies version. I know like they're like different types of platforms. Like one of them's a SMC version and or like a smart version. The other one's like a Nemo version. I guess that's interesting. Yeah, like this one is like, it looks like this instead. So we get this like Nemo card. Ooh, oh my God. We got this Johnny card. He looks so good. Oh my God, wait, his hair too, like the light color. And then for our sticker. Oh my God, a Johnny set. Imagine if we get all Johnny stickers. Photo card sets. Ooh. See if we can just take out the randoms card. Oh my God. <laughs> Not looking too good so far. We got a Duke photo card. Oh my goodness. Is this gonna be all dupes? Oh my God. <gasps> no, they failed us with this version. Uh, yep. <laughs> all Johnny's. Wow. <laughs> They were like, you only get lucky on this version. All right, another late unboxing. We have Nmix's first comeback with Entsworth. We have all of the versions here, the jewel case, uh, limited, and the standard version. And this one, we actually do have some pre-order benefits because I did order these from K-Town for you. So I think this one, because obviously we only got one limited version, so they had a limited version of the pre-order benefit. We got shoes, and then since the photo cards came with the jewel version as well for the standard version, we got a dupe of Ginny, I believe. Yeah, we have two Ginnies, but we got the full set of the standard POBs. I feel like that should be like a normal thing, you know, you should get a POB with the member versions as well. Okay, we can start off with the standard version so bright oh my god my eyes all right oh my god everything's like so trippy but i really think this concept like suits and mix super well like it definitely goes with their like unique funky concept so yeah this was like perfect for them it's so bright neon and colorful like look at all those colors looks like i'm on on an acid trip or something but yeah i really really liked this comeback dice so so good and i feel like cool is like my favorite b-side from i mean they only have two b-sides but cool is such a good song like they sound so beautiful on it the vocals i love it i hope they get like a full album or a mini album at least soon now we get the inclusions oh it's like lyrics but it looks like a game board all right and then this is a sticker sheet and for the photo card Ooh, we got Cujins! Oh my god, her red hair looks so good too. All right, now for the limited edition. I guess this is gonna be like maybe a standard thing for Admix, like a limited and a standard version. We'll see how far this goes because we know JYP likes to switch up the packaging. I'm also really glad that like it's not the same like photo book. If you guys remember from their first album, that was disappointing, but whoa, it's like Alice in Wonderland vibes. This like pop-up thing. That is cool, right? I'm pretty sure the photo book is different. The cover is different. The... Oh wait, actually, is it the same photo book? These photos look kind of different. I don't know if I'm like stupid. Yeah, I feel like these photos are different. Comment if I'm wrong, but these, these definitely look like different pictures. It's just like the same concept. Yeah, at least they changed the photos, you know? And then, ooh, this is like a lenticular card. Oh, there's like a little like monster, shadow monster in the back. We got Taoyun's card. Ooh, the back looks really cool too. And then, ooh, we got a Hewan Post card. Is there like more here? Oh, <laughs> that confused me. Okay, we get another like game board lyric paper. And then, ooh, we get two photo cards this time. That's nice. Let's see. Ooh, we got a Soyun photo card as well. This card is so pretty. Uh, I love the back too. And then looks like we got a Jiu card. These photo cards are so nice. Wow, three photo cards this time. 
love that okay now we're gonna get into all of the jewel cases again i'll try to go through these like super quick because yeah we're already 40 minutes into filming and we're not halfway done so oh gosh i'm literally gonna like hate myself editing all this footage all right Wait, oh, we got a hit on photo card. Do we get the matching member? Is this, are they gonna pull a Stacy and be nice to us? Wait, cause obviously since I have all the members, I would wanna like collect, you know, all the, the full set for this. <gasps> okay, we got a hit on photo card. All right, next we have a bay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Damn, I had my hopes up for a second, but at least we got a different member. We got Saryun's. Let's quickly flip through this. Again, the concept is so cool. No pun intended. And then we have Qjin. Are all the... Yeah, all the backs are the same. Ooh, okay, we got a Bay photo card. I like how it's like a matching like set, the concept with like the curtain in the back. And then her photo book. Next we have Chu. Okay, our first dupe, we got a another Bay photo card. I like how this is like foil. It's really pretty. Ginny. Another dupe. We got Taryun's card again. I know someone's gonna like take this the wrong way and be like, why are you like quickly flipping through? You need to appreciate the album. I, I get that. Don't worry, I do. But like for the sake of this video, <laughs> that's why I'm like rushing through it. <gasps> Ooh, we got a Ginny photo card this time. Yay. So that's four members. And then lastly, we have Lily. Yay! Okay, we got Qjin. Nice. I love that heart necklace she's wearing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five members out of seven is not bad at all. Okay, what? Dang, she's like, the people making fun of her for like standing stiff as a statue. This is her rebelling. Like, okay. Moving right along to another <laughs> member version, we have Stray Kids' Maxident. The case version. Now, I mean, obviously I expected like a member version thing. I didn't expect it to be like this. I honestly thought they were going to do like another jewel case, but we got this instead, which honestly, the concept is very cute and fitting. You know, it's like a, like a case file, you know, but I mean, I feel like the covers could have been a little cuter instead of just them like this. I don't know. I feel like maybe like a stamped picture of them would have been a little cuter. I don't know. I kind of prefer the jewel cases over this actually, but you know what? It's still very cute and creative. So yeah, I appreciate it. So let's see. Let's go ahead, flip through it. We'll go through Changbin's first. All right. So it's the CD. I do like the like packaging though, like the branding and stuff. The concept is very cute. And then see, it's like a little secret file. Oh, it's like basically the same pictures though. All right. This looks like, oh, oh, it's like a unit accordion thing. We got Lino and Hyunjin. And then some of these are lyrics. It's like a newspaper. All right, and then we get two photo cards. Ooh, we got Hyunjin. I think, I, I forgot which one's the pre-order one and which one's like the normal album one, but we got Hyunjin's and then, oh my God, we got a Hyunjin set. Oh wait, literally a full Hyunjin set in Changbin's version. That's so funny, but yay again i'm trying to collect ot8 so all right now let's look through ins okay looking good so far we got another unit we got changbin and felix i love the center picture the one with the sunglasses they look so cute let me just take out everything actually Ooh, we got chan's photo card so pretty then <gasps> Lino for this. I feel like this one's the pre-order one, but I could be wrong. But yay, I love these photo cards. And then we have Ian's photo book. All right, next we have Sungmin's. <gasps> okay, right away <laughs> we got a Felix selfie card, and then <gasps> Ian for the far away. Uh, Yay, yay, yay. It's looking good, looking good. Let's keep this energy going, huh? <gasps> and another one, dang. Three for three for these. They look so good. And then we have the photo book. 
Oh my god, I can't get over like this look though with the flowers. Next up, Lino. I mean, we're gonna get some dupes for this, obviously. So we got another one of Sungmin and Pangchan. <gasps> oh! Okay, we got Lino's for the selfie. <gasps> so cute. And then, oh my god! <gasps> another, we literally finished two sets, Lino and Felix. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, and then his photo book. I heard that like Lino's actually a pretty difficult member to collect. I honestly didn't know that. Like, I remember I saw a post about him. People were like, Lino's so hard to collect. And I'm like, really? I did not know this. Every member is just, I mean, obviously Stray Kids is getting more and more popular. So like every member is like bound to be, be more difficult to collect. Okay. Oh my God. Another set. We got IS yeah, sets. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Our first dupe. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I mean, like, again, it's bound to happen. But like, we had a really good streak going there. Why does this like, do you guys see that? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like this card, it's like the contrast is like higher. Do you guys, this one's like a little more like faded. And then, oh, okay. We got all of the unit ones though. So this is Chi Hong and Chongin's unit thing. Yay. Wow. We finished that at least. All right. And then this is Hyunjin's. Oh, interesting. Songs. Oh, another dupe. <laughs> Again, bound to happen. It's fine. Wait, this one's like a little more faded too. What the heck? And then... Okay. <laughs> now we're getting into dupe territory. <laughs> Again, we had a good streak going on, but sometimes life just like slams us with a train. We have Chi Sung's photo book. Two more to go. Yeah, Felix. Let's see. Oh, pff, another dupe. Wow, we have two Felix sets. And another IN. All right, T. Yep, definitely going into dupe territory. But like, wait, who else do we need? Okay, we need Sungmin, Changbin. We haven't pulled any Sungmin or Changbin. We need Chan's other one. Okay, I laid it out just in case I forgot a member and I did forget Chi Songs as well. So we need Chi Song, Sungmin, Changbin set, and then this other Pang Chan card. I mean, we only have one more version to go through, so that's definitely not happening, but pretty good, honestly, again. At least we got more than like half, you know? All right, last one. We have Pang Chan's. <gasps> okay, speaking of Sungmin, okay. We got Sungmin's. And then. Oh, <gasps> Jisung! Oh my god. The two members we were missing. We still didn't pull any Changmin, unfortunately. Hopefully, again, we can trade for him, if anyone's even trading at this point. <laughs> but yes, we have Leader Chan. Okay, not bad though. Like, again, almost everyone. Almost everyone. We have EXID's 10th anniversary comeback. X, oh my god. If you guys didn't know, I'm obviously a fan of EXID. I have been for a long time. I've been listening for, to their music for a long time. I think the only other like physical album I have from EXID is Lady. Um, I don't know why I never like, I've always wanted to get EXID albums but I just never like bought them. So I thought I would get it for their 10th anniversary. But yes, I really, really liked this comeback. This was such a good, like, I guess this is a single album. But yeah, Fire is a really good song. So yeah, I'm very excited. I really love EXID's discography. If you guys haven't listened to it, highly recommend because they're amazing. Oh yeah, before we get into that, this is like a little like, this isn't like a pre-order card exactly. Cause like technically EXID aren't, I don't think they're under a company right now. So I think they had to like self-fund this entire comeback, which I think is like so amazing, you know, like, and I think this is like a little like extra fan club gift card, not a pre-order card, but I think like a fan club made these cards and sold them through K-Town for you for a time period. So yeah, but we, they are official technically though. So we got Honeys. So that's cute. Let's do a quick little flip through. I like how the like sides are sh like silver too. But yeah, this was such a good comeback. Ooh. I love the outfits. But yeah, also vocal queens. This is like, whoa, 
It's like a square hollow postcard. We got Torjis, such a vocal queen. Literally one of my favorite vocalists in the in K-pop industry ever. And then, ooh, we get two photo cards. Let's see. <gasps> ooh, we got this honey mirror selfie one. <gasps> she looks so pretty. And the back too, it's like shiny. And then, ooh, we got a Chungwa photo card as well. The Bob, love the Bob. What's your name, B.O.B.? These are such pretty cards, oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been dying to get this album, so I'm, so I'm so glad I finally was able to. But again, check out this song if you guys haven't already. So good. It's like definitely different from what they like previously released, but they usually have like a structure with their songs, but this time it was like a little different and I really liked it. Okay, another comeback I've been really wanting to unbox is Kepler's comeback, Troubleshooter. I honestly didn't expect them to have a comeback so quickly, but then again, since they are a project group, they're obviously gonna have like a ton of comebacks and activities, you know, cause they're gonna like D word eventually. So I guess they're trying to like squeeze in as much activities as they can. But yes, we have a troubleshooter. We have both the album versions and then the digipack versions. They're going all out this time. And we do have some pre-order benefits. They gave pre-order benefits for this version. Again, I feel like they should do what like NMIX did and like give POBs with these, but hey, I guess I don't make that. Decision. But yes, for our pre-order benefits, we got Cheyans. We have Yesha. I didn't recognize her for a second. The like the eye look was so intense. And then we have Shouting. These are all so pretty. All right, we'll go through the like album version first. Let's start with this one. I love the concept though. It's like, what do you call this? Like a spy concept almost. Okay. I'm assuming all the inclusions are in here. Hope things are slipping out. So through this photo book. But yeah, I remember like everyone like bashed this comeback so hard and like this comeback for some reason didn't get like too much hype, which I was kind of surprised about because I still enjoyed this comeback, you know, like I feel like the hate is a little too much. I get that it's not their best title track, but like I think I still think it's cute. It's fun. I really liked the like the bridge, you know, and I still th I still think it's pretty catchy, you know. Like I know up kind of like exceeded everyone's expectations and all that. Up is a bop, but like I appreciated We Fresh too. Okay, like people are saying like they're flopping already. I'm like, it's just one comeback. Calm down, you guys. But yeah, I liked We Fresh. I enjoyed it when it came out. So that's just my opinion. Oh, okay, everything's just spilling out already. <laughs> okay, ooh, hero license. We got Huning Bahies. And then we have Mashiro for the photo card. And then, ooh, we got a Yujin. This is like a mini circle card. No, I'm getting like flashbacks with these <laughs> circle cards. Enough with the circle cards, companies. Ooh, and then we got another photo card. We have Yesho this time. These cards are so pretty. We got a sticker. Something that's like a lyric thingy. Ooh. Oh, it's like a space concept. Like a spy space concept. I feel like the B-sides were also really good this time around. Like I really enjoyed this mini album. And I feel like that's like the general consensus. Consess, what's the word? General consensus. Like a lot of people like the B-sides. Ooh, the CD. And then we get a sticker sheet as well. All right, now we have this version. I know they have like names. Like I think it's Daydream, Midnight, and something else. But if it's not on the packaging, I don't remember. <laughs> we'll just call this the pink concept. All righty. That's so cool. Like how it's like a little pop-up thing. It's like a little computer. Ooh. Shouting looks really good with the bangs. I also really liked all of their hairstyles too. Like Hikaru's hair looks really nice. I love the pink on Hie. Sounds like a nighttime outdoor concept. Maybe this is the midnight one. It gives me midnight vibes. <gasps> Ooh, all right. We got a Hikaru ID. I do collect her, so yay for that. The photo card is behind the sticker, <laughs> but sticker and then... <gasps> Ooh, a Hikaru. Oh my god. Whoa. We got like almost a Hikaru set. Cool. That I really like these like lover boy animal ear hats. I know there's like a lot of different like kinds. These are so cute. And then we get her circle card. <laughs> Should I collect these? I don't know. I'm kind of traumatized by circle cards. So <gasps> Ooh, we also got another Mashiro photo card. 
that's pretty and then everything else is like almost the same that's the sticker sheet all right lastly we have the yellow version i want to say this is the daydream version because it's like the brightest one i'm just guessing here see this photo book yeah like this one's like very bright so maybe it's the daydream i could be like very wrong though <laughs> This is like a more like laid back, casual, warm tone concept. It doesn't really like match the vibe of Troubleshooter though, but it's still a nice concept. Oh, I just skipped like a shit ton of pages. Oh, <laughs> all right. And then for the inclusions, the, these paper boxes are like the devil. All right. None of the inclusions are like flying out surprisingly. Oh, I was like, where are they? Let's pull it all one by one. Ooh, we got this Youngun photo card. Ooh, what is she holding? A star cookie? A bath bomb? All right, and then... Ooh, we got a Yujin ID. Oh, wow, we got both of my biases for the ID card. Yay. And then... Oh, there's the sticker. Ooh, we got this Chaehyun photo card. Oh my gosh, she's holding like a little card in her mouth. That's cute. And then I think the circle card, right? Ooh, is this Chaehyun again? It is! Yay! This kind of reminds me of like Dakchi. Like when I was younger, I would collect like these circle Dakchis from like Maple Story and stuff. Like, if you know, you know. And then that's what the sticker sheet looks like. Okay, and then this time they decided to do a member version digipacks. So again, we will unbox this at rapid speed. Let's go, starting with Ta Dayan. All right, let's see this. I think all the CDs are probably the same, right? Oh, they're member specific. Well, <laughs> ooh, we got a folded poster as well. Oh, I guess the inclusions aren't in here, but let's see the photo book. Let's see. Ooh, we got a Chaehyun photo card again. This one has a signature on the back. Wait, those glasses are so cute with the stars. <gasps> Pretty. Next, we have Hiei's Digipack her photo book real quick it's literally like what like it's like five pictures <laughs> and then the rest are the same <gasps> Ooh, we got hikaru's photo card i did also buy a signed digit i think it was the signed digipack from m wave so i'm excited to see who i get for that next we have hikaru's you can like see the whole poster like this basically saves me some time Ooh, i think she has like my favorite outfit the green that looks so pretty and then... Oh, pfft. already we got our first dupe of Chaehyun. Next, we have Youngun poster, and then her photo book. Ooh, we got Taeyeon for the photo card. She's holding like, a little camera. Okay, this time, oh my god! Oh, that scared. <laughs> that scared me. I thought I got like damaged or something. I don't know what that was. All right. Oh, pfft. there's the photo card. We got our second dupe of Hikaru, and then we have Yeso's inclusions. Oh, try not to skip. Next, Mashiro poster. Oh, the hell? That's very unfortunate. <gasps> Yujin! Okay, that's what, uh, four members now? Alrighty, alright. Okay, next we have Chaehyun. We have three more left, okay. Ooh, the glasses again, they look so cool. Let's see. Oh my god, <laughs> our third Hikaru, uh-oh. Then we have Shouting, the infamous moon shirt. The legacy continues. The outfit looks really nice though. Another huge. <laughs> this one is not looking so hot. I guess we like used up all of our luck in the previous albums already. And then last but not least, we have Eugen's her poster. Ooh, the pink looks so pretty. And then, oh, okay, we got a different card. We got Yes Haas. Hell yeah. Okay, so. What is that? Five out of nine. Again, that's like, at least that's the halfway points. Not too bad. Okay, I had to stop for a second because I had to pre-order La Seraphim Season's Greetings real quick because it just dropped. I guess spoiler alert to like which Season's Greetings I'm getting this year. But speaking of La Seraphim, here we have La Seraphim's 
comeback, anti-fragile. Oh my god, I think this was like one of the most highly anticipated unboxings from me because I really wanted to open these albums and I kind of did low-key because I did end up buying like I think three copies from Target. But yes, we have all of the versions here. We have the regular album one, we have the compacts, and then we have the Weavers versions. They went all out this time, so I'm very excited. And to go along with it, we do have all of these period of benefits that are from K-Town for you. So yeah, let's look through these first. So let's look through the um, photo book one. This one is like a transparent photo card set. And they were so generous. Like literally, if you just ordered like the three albums, you get an entire set plus a group one. Like, I don't know why this isn't the norm for period of benefits, you know? Like, I feel like if you order a whole set of albums, you should get like all of the period of benefits. Like, hello, other stores, other groups, take notes because this should be the norm, you know? It will make collecting so much easier, but anyways. We have Chewon, Kazuha, Sakura, Yunjin, Unche, and then a group one. I mean, granted, these are like concept photo cards, but hey, better than nothing. And then this is for the um, compact. I mean, obviously, there's five versions, so you get all of them, but we have Sakura. These are so nice, though. I love the winter concept. Chewon, Kazuha, and Unche. All right, and then this is the pre-order benefits for the Weavers version, and they're actually selfie cards this time, which is so exciting. So that's nice. I did get five, so I got the full set. And they're like hollow too, which is really nice. But yay, I wish all of them were like selfies, like the other ones too. But hey, at least you got one selfie set. These are so pretty. All right, I cannot wait any longer. I want to open these. All right, we'll go ahead and start with volume one, Midnight Ox. Ox? What the? Onyx. They did make the packaging a little better by like not making us rip anything. Despite what it says, this is kind of fragile packaging because it's a paper box. So yeah, again, I did already like technically unbox a copy of this, but I don't, I don't think, I, which one did I unbox? I honestly forgot the version already. So photo book real quick. This. Their concept is just so fancy, schmashy. Everything is just so elegant, but yeah, I fucking loved this comeback. Oh my goodness. I didn't even think I would like it as much as I did, but I don't typically listen to like a uh, reggaeton. I think it's that's like the type of music Anti-Fragile is. Um, I don't listen to that genre of music, but yeah, like this comeback was just so, so good. Like it's so catchy, it's so fun. And yeah, this mini album as well, so, so good. Like their B-sides never disappoints. I feel like my favorite B-side is probably No Celestial. Like it just gives me like such early Disney Channel movie vibes. If you guys know what I mean, like it's, I don't know, I've been really liking just like the rock concept. So No Celestial is really good, but I really like this entire mini album. Like so, so good. La Seraphim is actually becoming like one of like my favorite girl groups. We have a buttload of inclusions. Try not to like see anything random, but we get this poster. Oh, this is like the icy concept one. I think, oh yeah, I think the posters are random as well. I don't know why I said A plus like that. Okay. And then we get the CD. Ooh. Okay, and then we get, oh, we get this postcard. I do, again, I bought a copy from Target, so I have this postcard already. I don't know if it's like random or something, but it's so cute though. And then Crimson Hearts. Why do they always gotta like make some sort of like storyline with these groups? Like, why can't we just enjoy the music? Okay, and then this really pretty sticker sheet. And then, oh, it's kind of like, this is kind of like caution tape. Anti-fragile. All right, and then we get one photo card. Let's see who it is. Ooh, we got Sakura's photo card. Ooh, the back. Aw, such a cute card. Again, they're still doing like the envelope thingy, which I think it feels so fancy, you know, just like pulling it out of an envelope. All right, but next up, we have the iridescent opal version. Damn, it kind of sucks, honestly, that the poster is like random. I don't know why it's not like member, I mean, version specific, but we got the same poster, it looks like. Oh, we got a different postcard at least. We got the snowy concept, and then all of the other inclusions are the same. Whoa, this concept is so pretty. Uh, it's so sparkly, very iridescent. 
Ooh, and like the soft filter on it. It literally looks like a fancy Vogue editorial. Love that. All right, and then this is like the only random inclusion, basically. Oh my god, another Sakura. Oh my god, so pretty. I love like the stickers too. Are those like flowers, jewels, gems? But yeah, like I said, La Seraphim is, like, has like very quickly become one of like my favorite girl groups right now. And collecting wise, I know I collect Yunjin, but um, I've been thinking, thinking some interesting thoughts. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> All right, lastly, we have the Frozen Aquamarine concept. I think this one is like the, is this the icy concept? Oh, we actually got different posters. Oh, but we got the same postcard. Yeah, we got the same like icy postcard, but we got a different poster. This one is like the iridescent opal version. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like this is like everyone's favorite concept, the snowy concept. Again, the outfits too. The way they were like all wearing those like furry hats. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, also love Yunjin. She is my La Seraphim bias. She is just so hilarious. I love her personality so, so much. Like if I were to do like a fan call, I honestly would want to do one with Yunjin. I feel like every time I see a fan call with her, she just like seems like such a fun person to talk to. So yeah, maybe one day I'll try for a Yunjin <laughs> fan call or something. But, <gasps> ooh, we got a Chaewon photo card this time. This is so pretty. The like bedazzled neck. Another member version thing, but we got all the compact versions. I honestly like forget like which member corresponds with like which thing. I, I, th I think I remember Emerald being Yunjin and Ruby being Unche. Let's see. I think I bought the Sapphire and the Emerald from Target already, but yes. This one is Yunjin's. Oh, the photo cards. Oh yeah, I don't think. Wait, there's no photo book in here. Oh, never mind. There is. Wait, I'm so stupid. There are member versions. Obviously, there is one. But yeah, this is Yunjin's. I don't know why I, I didn't think there was a photo book. I'm dumb. Ooh. And I like how like these are like different pictures. You know, they do like a different photo shoot for this version instead of using like the same photos. All right, CD. And then, oh yeah, we get a member postcard. We got Kajuha's. All right, and then we get two photo cards. <gasps> Ooh, we got Yunjin and Sakura's units. I am trying to collect all the units, obviously, or pull all the units, I guess. I did literally pull two of the same uh, units already. I got Chewan and Unchez twice, so at least I got a different one. And then... <gasps> Ooh, we got Kajuha for the photo card as well. Uh, the second moment of La Seraphim. So formal. All right, next we have the ruby, and if I remember correctly, this is Unches. Yes, okay, I remember correctly. I also the photo book. I really like this concept too, like the outdoor, like, industrial. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sad that they don't put, like, the explicit version on, like, streaming sites, you know? Like, same with TXT, like, why, why not? We want them to cuss. Let them cuss. Yes. Okay. There's actually a lot of pictures in the photo book too, which is nice. All right. Ooh, we got Chaewon for the postcard this time. I think for the postcard, who did I pull? I forgot who I pulled to my target ones. Okay, we got the third unit. We have Sakura and Kazuha. We have J Line. Yay. Ooh, we got a Chaewon photo card. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I love her hair. All right, now we have Pink Diamond. It's either Kazuha or Unchez. I mean, not Unchez, Chaewon. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I thought Sakura was Diamond. Okay, never mind. I'm like, I should just shut up, you know? Just I should just stop guessing because I'll look like a fool. But I just think it's so evil that like they literally, how many versions is it? I think it's like five photo cards per member and you only get one photo card so like oh wait no it's four right again i need to stop guessing i think it's four per member and like you get one photo card so like i think you literally need to buy like four albums to complete one member that is so evil i just know these photo cards are probably going to go for like kind of expensive now because of that okay we got a dupe we have kajaha's postcard and then oh my god 
This is the third time I'm pulling this unit card. Holy crap, but we got Chaewon and Inches again. Like, see, I literally have it like framed right here because this is like a dupe. I just framed it for fun. But yeah, anyways. <gasps> Ooh, we got Yoonjin. Wait, this is my third. I think this is my third Yoonjin photo card for the compact. I'm almost done with Yoonjin's set. That's nice. She has my bias. So yay for that. All right. Now it's either Chewan or um, Kazuha. I don't know who's who because clearly I'm bad at guessing. But okay, this one is Ch Diamond is Chewan. I don't know why I thought Sakura was Diamond the whole time. I feel like I like misread it or something, but they should put like the member name at least, you know? They're trying to be all like fancy and formal, the company. Oh my God, I thought this was the same unit again. Wait, it's a different one. Okay, wait, wait, this, that means we have four out of the five unit cards. <gasps> wait, are we, are we gonna complete it in this video? Are we? Are we? Okay, we have um, Kaja and Chewans and then... <gasps> Ooh, we got this Unche photo card. Oh, this is so pretty. Uh, I love, like, this gives me, like, clueless vibes, the outfit. <gasps> Ooh, oh, I think I pulled Sakura, actually, in the Target ones. So I think this is my third Sakura because I pulled, like, two of them already. <laughs> All right, lastly, we have Sapphire. This is Kajha's version. Yes, okay. <laughs> Finally, I got it right. <laughs> But let's see if we can also pull the last unit that we need, please. That would be so iconic if we did. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, that dream is dead. So we pulled another one of the Chewan Kajiha. It's fine. Hopefully I can find the trade. And then, ooh, we got another Kajiha. Wait, this isn't a dupe, right? Okay, it's not. It just looks very similar, the colors, but... We got a different Kajua. So we didn't pull any dupes for the selfie cards because there's like so many. But yay, okay. Okay, last but not least, we have the Weavers version. So I did buy five in hopes of getting like everyone. Um, I heard that these aren't like sets though. Like it's so weird how they like change it with every group. Like it's either like a set or it's not a set and like the packaging's different. They're always switching things up. But yes, I heard that you get three different cards instead of a full set, which kind of sucks. Honestly, I do prefer the sets because it is like easier to collect, but whatever. Anyways, let's test our luck now. Alrighty, guessing this is the, oh yeah. Okay, this is the like QR, it's not a hard card, which I'm surprised about, but we got Sakura's. <gasps> Ooh, we got this Yunjin card. Wait, that's so cute. There's the back. Oh, it's like papery. These are like, I think they're going for like the papery feel photo cards now so it's like eco-friendly i guess that's nice <gasps> Ooh, and then we got this chewan so pretty wait these cards are so nice again like i mean la seraphim's concepts never disappoint so it's not surprising i'm just hoping these aren't all dupes knowing me it probably is but like trying to manifest positive energy here <gasps> okay we got kazuha's qr code <gasps> Ooh, we also got her selfie card Noise. And then, ooh, we got Unche for the other selfie card. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. <laughs> First dupe. Oh, this is definitely a dupe album, is it? Yep. Exact dupes. Oh my god. I did not mean to do that. I almost just like bent the card like that. My heart just like jumped out of my chest. I'm so sorry, Chowan. Fourth copy please oh my god this is not looking good <laughs> oh okay <gasps> this this selfie card's different we got inches all right and then <gasps> okay we got a sakura selfie yay okay okay we haven't completed like anyone's set so far I and mean, we did get both of inches selfie i think so Okay, we got Yunjin's for the selfie. I mean, the QR code. Oh, oh my goodness. Our third Yunjin, this version. Okay, this is a dupe album. Well, it's like different dupes. You know what I mean? But yeah, okay. I mean, clearly not the greatest variety. But I mean, I feel like 
I'm not gonna do the math, but it kind of feels like half and half, so I guess it's not too bad. All right, this was actually kind of an unexpected album purchase. I wasn't like really planning on getting this, but I definitely was paying attention to Cheon's solo debut with Hush Rush, mainly because I really, really liked like the whole vampire influencer concept. The like concept pictures looked really cool and like I just loved the whole aesthetic. And I ended up really liking the solo debut. Like initially I was a little like so-so about it, but I grew to like it. So yeah, also the album packaging is really cool. So I couldn't resist. But yes, we have Chance Hush Rush. We'll start off with the influencer version. This is a pretty large box. I like how it kind of is like an essentials type of cover. Would you look at that? It is a bag packaging, which again is so cool. Like I remember when Eugene did it, I like loved it so much. So I couldn't resist. I mean, look at how cool this is. It's like a PVC clear bag, the design like that. This is so, so cool. I love it. You can like actually use this as a bag too. Ooh, it's like a little what's in my bag. Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little what's in my bag. So first we have this like really cute CD. I like how it's like clear. All right, and then of course my essentials. Let's see, ooh, are these like stickers? I don't think so, but I thought they were stickers for a second, but oh, there's like little messages. This one has like a thanks to nail polish, garlic, because it's like vampire-y cross, a little cell phone, and then a giant comb with the credits. It's actually like such a smart way to like distribute like the credits and stuff like that. And then, oh, it's like a little like tag. I guess you can like put this like on the bag. I think I want to do that. That's really cool. Like I said, like I really love this like graphic design packaging concept. Oh, forgot to take that out. But like, look at this. It's actually insane. But yeah, this um, solo debut, like I was a little iffy about it at first because it definitely wasn't what I was expecting, you know, because this concept is like very like dark horror style and then like the song was like very like light and preppy and refreshing um i feel like they could have like saved this concept if they were like going for that type of beat you know but regardless i do like both of them so yeah like i love this sort of concept it's so cool and like the graphic design it was i think this came out in like october right so it was very fitting for like halloween Ooh, we got this like, oh, this is so cute. This will be cute on like a little like wall collage. That's so cute. And then looks like we get like a folded poster and then a really cool sticker sheet. And then two photo cards. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, she's holding like a camcorder in this one. Whoa, the big fluffy hots. These photo cards are so nice. There, <laughs> that's the best I can do. Like, look at that. That is so cute love that now we have the vampire version this is the other version hey guys welcome back to another what's my bag Ooh, this looks very like halloween-esque rose i'm not gonna bother hanging the tag this time <laughs> it was a little difficult so i'll just leave it in there another essentials unboxing all right we have a stereo it looks like some sunglasses. Oh wait, I should show the back. Some lipstick. An eyeball for a little snack. A little makeup pouch and a nice beverage of blood. Oh my god, this this is intense, but like I really like it. The graphic design. Ooh. It's like Y2K Halloween. Is it Y2K? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. Right, and then we get this really cool folded poster. And then oh, another one of these. This is so cool. I love this like sort of design. All right, and then another sticker sheet. You can like use it to decorate the bag too. I feel like that's a good idea. And then for the photo cards. Ooh, we have this photo card. I thought she was wearing like vampire fangs. That would have been like so perfect. And then, ooh, I love the dress. All right, lastly, we have the Kino. Let's see, again, that's the very intense mouth. The little credits, instructions. Here is the actual Kino. Again, I, I feel like as a society, we should abolish Kinos, but... And then, oh, we get these like little postcards. 
Again, I love all like the graphics too. It's so pretty. Oh shit. Like these lightning bolts. All right, and for the photo card. Oh, it's this outfit again. The headband gives me like Medusa vibes. All right, we have finally reached the conclusion of this album haul. Can't believe I've just been sitting here for like, what, two hours? Just opening album after album. Even when I tried going as fast as I can, like, damn. But yes, we are ending this video with Jin's solo debut, The Astronaut, before he has to E-word, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm glad we have another BTS solo. They're just doing a lot of like solo activities now, you know, like RMs is already up for pre-order, which I did already pre-order, so stay tuned for that. But, and all those like photo books, everything's happening so fast. Yes, we have The Astronaut, we have both versions one and two. Now I technically did order from K-Town for you first, but then I saw they were doing a Soundwave Lucky Draw event, so I just ordered two more. So I guess I'm gonna collect all the photo cards, you know, since I have enough albums. But yes, these are the Soundwave Lucky Draws. And I did end up getting the selfie one, which I really wanted. I was scared I was gonna get both the concepts, but yeah. So yes, we have this one. I also really like this concept card too. I like how his hair is so fluffy. And then we have this one! So cute! The purple. All right, let's quickly go through this. That's what it looks like. The Astronauts. But yeah, this was such a cute song. Like, I really... This is like such... Oh my god, wait. Wait. Wait a damn minute. Why have I never seen these pictures on the timeline? You guys are so evil. But... Oh my god, these are so nice. The stars. Okay, Jin. Wow. You look so, so good. But yeah, I loved the song. It was just such a sweet, very... It's like a bittersweet song almost. And I really liked how it was gifted by Coldplay. And like you can hear like them in the background vocalizing. Ugh, such a heartwarming song. This whole concept is so cute too, like the astronaut. Yeah, anyways, we have this really pretty poster, credits and lyrics, since it's just one song. <laughs> All right, and then, ooh, we get this like sticker sheet, and then this glorious postcard. All right, and then, oh yeah, that's Weavers. Oh yeah, and these are like random stickers. Oh my God, we got the ones where he's in it. <gasps> Oh my god, the way he's just like standing like that one emoji. <laughs> and then this is the photo card. <gasps> Ooh, cute. Ah, oh my god. I think I might add these to the binders too, honestly, or the collect book because it's random. All right, and then we have version two. All right. Ooh, love that color. Let's see what this concept is. <gasps> what? This is so pretty, oh my god. It's very like earthy, colorful rainbows. I love the bubbles, oh my god. Why have I never seen these pictures? <gasps> okay, I think I saw this picture. I remember seeing this one. Wait, that's so cute. This concept with the planets. Oh my god, these photos are so nice. I think this might be my favorite version. Wow, okay, and then for the poster. So cute. And then, oh, this is such a cute postcard. And then for the stickers. Oh, oh yeah, okay, this one's like the little astronaut thingy. And then another one of him. <laughs> That's so cute, such a tiny sticker. And then, oh my God, wait, this is so cute. I love the orange sweater. Dude, his hair's like so fluffy. I wanna like pet it, not in a weird way. We've reached the end. This is like a horrifying shot, but look at all these photo cards. Oh my goodness. But yes, we have reached the end of this massive, ginormous, and very late album haul slash unboxing. Thank you guys so much again for your patience. Finally, I opened all these albums. I feel like I just caught up on like two months worth of things and releases and whatnot. And I'm scared of trading because I feel like I'm so late at this point. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed and stuck to the end, you a real one. Thank you so much. 
you enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos like this and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace love happiness bye